Most of the things that millennials and young people say actually are a whole lot older than millennials and young people. What is the plural of emoji? Kudamagansi is a word you could yell out the window and you know, it would improve your mood by 300%. I'm Corey Stamper. I am a lexicographer at Merriam-Webster, so I write and edit dictionaries. There's two parts to the job. The first is reading, and that's the way that we collect new words. So we read kind of everything. Blogs, websites, Twitter, books, magazines, trade journals. And when we're reading, we're looking for new words or words that catch our eye. And when we find those, we take the word and the context and put it in a database. And then when it's time to define, you take each of those little slips that you have of language in use, and you read through them all and you evaluate whether or not these new words have met the criteria to be entered in the dictionary. So a word needs widespread use, so use all over the place, not just geographically, but tonally. So if something's used in Mashable and the Wall Street Journal, then that's pretty tonally broad. You want a word to have a nice, long lifespan. It needs a good shelf life, because by the time words make it into the dictionary, we want to make sure that they're pretty common because dictionaries sort of are a cross-section of the language. And you want to make sure that the word has a meaning, which seems stupid because most words have meanings, but some words actually just get used as examples of nonsense words or long words. But if a word meets all three criteria, it's eligible for entry. We tend to focus on writing because writing is a whole lot easier to track. It's a lot harder to track speech. The problem with dictated speech is that if you hit a new word, and you don't know how to spell it. Think of the word Boku, like he makes Boku money. And lots of people who don't know how to spell that spell it B-O-K-U. It's actually spelled B-E-A-U-C-O-U-P. Some words we find and we enter them really quickly. Generally though, words take a long time to sort of settle into the language. Two examples that I like to use are uh, the word Korma, which is an Indian dish. That was entered into our dictionaries a few years ago. We really started to see it take off in the 90s and the 2000s, but it was first used in print in like 1830 something. It just took 130 years for it to be used consistently in print and not either highlighted as being a foreign word or being explained what it was.